Hey Shelby Bells, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in for another video. I'm standing filming a video. This is weird. I never do this. I feel like I have a lot more room to like do things with my hands. Anyway, um, I was literally putting on my shoes to go to the gym, you guys, and then the drama gods have delivered, you guys. And I think I have a lot of thoughts on this, you guys, because last night i had a live stream and it got a little heated people had their opinions it got a little heated there was some arguing and stuff and i had to shut that down but basically i had a question and i was just curious i had a conspiracy theory i don't know i don't even know i was just curious about this picture that trisha paytas posted on easter yesterday because she posted this picture and she was looking honestly low key a little snatched and she was doing a little cosplay as she does where she was cosplaying anna nicole smith okay she didn't look like herself. It was a little weird. She didn't look like, she looked like herself, but not the Trisha Paytas that we know like today. And so I was like, okay, is this picture old? Is this picture Photoshopped? And the biggest question I had was like, where's the baby bump? Cause I feel like everyone wants to see the bump, right? Like, Miss, hey baby. Miss was wondering about the, the baby bump too. She says hi to everyone who was in the live stream last night and she demands that we put her down right now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Love you, Miss. Okay. So, okay. And the thing is people are wondering, right? Like people are wondering where is the baby bump? And like, I understand that Miss, don't mess with the tripod. I understand that all women show differently during pregnancy and not everyone's gonna look the same. There are like ways you think you might look as you get further into, into your pregnancy, but that's not like a given. Like everyone holds their baby differently. Everyone holds their weight differently and in no way, shape or form am I someone who is like a person who judges anybody by the, way, by the way that they look weight wise or anything really, you know? So anyway, I wanna make that clear, but it did make me, if I'm, if I'm being honest, it made me think like, where's the bump girl? You know, like it made me think like, is she not as pregnant as she says she is? Like as far along or like, is she photoshopping or was this an old picture? Like I didn't know what to think, okay? So anyway, um, Trisha today on Twitter, posted a picture. I'm going to put it up here so you can see it. She posted a picture and it was for everyone who needs to see the bump or for those who need to see the bump. And it was like this emoji. And I was like, Oh my God, are you kidding me? She saw the live stream. You guys, I'm pretty sure she saw the live stream. She saw the title to the live stream. Maybe her comments are being flooded with what I said. I don't know, but we all know Trish Pace is so bothered about the drama channel. She's so bothered. And it's just funny that she's delivering the tea the day after I have this, this live stream talking about it and we're all sharing our opin opinions about it. I don't know. I want to talk about it with you guys because I don't know, like, I just thought, I want to clear up some misconceptions from last night's live stream and I want to talk about this whole thing and like all that. So anyway, that's what we're going to do. I'm not going to put like my intro into this video because I'm going to upload this on my phone real quick. Um, so, well, maybe I should like just upload my, send my intro to my phone so I can enter that when I do my videos like this. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore, you guys, but... <laughs> really interesting that the day after I'm talking about this, she uploads a picture of the baby bump. And a lot of you guys have been asking me for a baby bump update on Trisha. And I haven't been able to give it to you because I was like, well, there, low key, there's no, up. like, I haven't seen it, girl. So how could I report on it? I haven't seen it. I can't just report on something I've never seen to be true or never seen to be like anything. I can't make an opinion on something I've never seen. So it's here. It's there. There's the baby bump. And I think this just proves that she's watching and then for everyone out there that was saying that she's not the one pregnant she's not the one holding the baby and stuff i think that that proves that this is she actually is because there's a lot of people out there and if you didn't catch the live stream last night then you can catch a, a, the replay on my channel a lot of people i did a poll and i was like leave a one if you think that there is a surrogate involved 
or something like that and leave it to if, she, if you think she's holding the baby. And people were very divided, but a lot of people thought that, you know, somebody else was holding her baby for her and she was having a surrogate because she's had issues with having a baby in the past. And a lot of people were very upset about that, you know, because they're like, why would you lie about something like that? I had like people were saying they've had miscarriages and they would die to have a rainbow baby. And so she's using a surrogate. I don't know. People have had a lot of opinions. OK. And so it's just very, very controversial. But now here's the answer. Here's the answer. You see the bump and it's, and it's a cute little bump. You know, she looks great. So I want to also clarify something else that happened in the live stream last night. It's been really eating at me because people were commenting the same thing. Like people were saying Trisha is morbidly obese. And so she wouldn't show or that she's going to like, I want to make it clear right here and now on my channel, if you're going to watch my channel, we're not going to talk about people's weight in a negative way like that. People were calling her like obese, a hippopotamus, like all this like really crazy, like derogatory terms. Yeah, obese is a medical term, but technically a lot of people are obese. Technically, according to my doctor, I'm obese. Okay. And so like, but to be honest with you, Trisha Paytas and I have like, we carry our weight differently, but we're about the same size. Okay. And so, I mean, I've been losing weight, so maybe I'm a little bit less than her, but honestly, I don't think because when I watch her like uh, clothing hauls that she'll do, she'll say what size she gets and stuff. And sometimes she wears a smaller size than I do. So it's like, it's like, I don't know, like for to read those comments was like, oh my God, it was a, honestly a little triggering to me in my weight loss journey. So I was like, well, people are saying that she looks more of the obese, like a big hippopotamus and all this stuff. Then what do they think I look like? You know, and I, it got in my head a little bit. I'm not going to lie, but I don't like that kind of talk, right? I feel like Trisha, first of all, I think Trisha is a beautiful woman. I really do. I think the blonde hair, the blue eyes, I think she's beautiful. I think she's gorgeous. I really do. Mr. Kitty, sorry, he moved the tripod. And, you know, yeah, she has some weight that she could probably lose, but she's confident in her body and herself. And she flaunts what she's got, you know? And I think that that's, a, that's important and you should do that, you know? And I, I'm a big, 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 and I know it probably doesn't look like it on my channel because I wear hoodies and stuff all the time when I film, but I'm like a big believer in like having confidence in your own skin and like as a thick plus size woman I don't wear big baggy clothing like that because I don't want an outside person to look at me and be like oh she's big she knows she's big she's trying to cover all of her stuff up no, no, no. Like, that's why I they make some of my friends make fun of me. They, they say that I wear this little combination called two piece and a biscuit because I'll wear like a high rise, like skirt or pants or shorts or something like that number with a crop top. And I'll have like a little bit of skin showing like right here. And I'm unbothered about it, girl, because I'm like, listen, because I'm not going to I'm not going to wear this big baggy burka and then have like people be like, oh, she's big. She knows she's big. She's ashamed of her body. She's hiding. It. She's covering it up. I'm not doing that. No, you're going to look at me and be like, damn, like she looks good for her size. Like, she looks good. She's working it. She's got confidence. I love that about her. That's what I want, you know, people to think when they look at me. And I feel like that's what people think when they look at Trisha. Because when she gets, you know, dolled up to the nines and she's wearing them cute little outfits and stuff, she looks good, girl. I'm sorry she does. Say what you want about Trisha Paytas. Her body, she looks good, okay? She looks good for what she, she flaunts what she got. And I truly do believe that. And so anyway, I'm getting a little off topic here, but I just felt like, that was a little insensitive and rude for people to talk about her weight like that. You guys know I don't believe in talking about people's weight like that and slandering their weight. And then like it got into the whole eating, her eating habits thing, which I also am not a big like fan of talking about. Like I feel like that's like none of our business. Like we only see what she eats on camera. We don't see what she doesn't eat on camera. I am like the biggest person to call out Trisha for things I think we need to call out Trisha for. And this baby bump her not revealing it yet was a little suspicious to me to begin with too and like all of the, like things she's done in the past obviously and the pregnancy if I'm gonna be honest with you has been a little bit weird in my mind too uh but talking about her weight and what she eats I think is like weird I just think it's weird and some for some reason people are so fascinated with it anyway here you go for everyone who believed that she wasn't pregnant or that <coughs> hello oh my god I don't have COVID. It's the pollen. The pollen here in Houston is literally insane. Um, so for everyone who didn't believe that she's pregnant or thought she had a surrogate, thought her sister was, you know, her surrogate, here's your proof. Okay, here's the bump. Here it is, girl. And I feel like, you know, then I'm, I'm happy for Trisha. I'm happy for Trisha. Like, I want her to have 
a safe, healthy pre pregnancy. I want her to give birth to a beautiful baby girl. I want her to have everything she wants. I want everyone to have everything that they want, right? And um, it, I mean, just because someone has been <sighs> deceptive or manipulative or trolled or been someone who I don't consider a good person in the past doesn't mean that I wish any bad things on them, right? And so, I don't know, I guess it's just the, the point that I want to make clear with that, like proud of, happy for Trisha, all that stuff. So, but there you go, there's the bump. And so many people were like, well, where's the bump girl? Where's the bump? Here's the bump, you saw it here, you saw it here. She posted on Twitter, now you saw it. So I feel like that's gonna shut down a lot of these rumors. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens with it, you know? I think the next big step is gonna be the baby shower. And so everyone's gonna be hyped up to see the baby shower and what she's doing for the baby shower and everything. But I think that we've covered a lot of these milestones with her pregnancy, right? We've covered the um, seeing the ultrasound, we've covered the gender reveal, we've covered seeing the bump, you know, all of these things. And the next thing is the baby shower, I think, right? And um, I know that people are gonna be anxiously awaiting to see that. So I think that this tweet today really dispelled a lot of rumors um, and I also think that it just proves that she honestly is in fact 100% watching drama channels because that live was posted literally not even 12 hours ago, maybe 12 hours ago. Well, I guess it's in the afternoon now. So it was posted maybe 16 hours ago and she's already making a Twitter post about it. So Trisha Paytas, she's watching. I actually, I'd live for that. Like, I love it. Like, please watch my channel. Like, I love, I love that. <laughs> okay. Um, so she's watching um, and I don't even know what else to say, you guys. I'm like, I don't know. I'm kind of like, well, here it is. Here's the, here's the bump. Here's what you guys have been wanting to see, what you've been waiting on, you know, and here we have it. So anyway, um, I think that's all I have to say about this. I am running behind to go to the gym because I was putting my socks on to go to the gym and then that tweet popped up and I was like, oh God, girl, here we go. Let me record a video real quick. I didn't even go to the beauty room because everything is set up in my living room from the live stream last night. So I like just turned on the ring light and I was like, I'm just going to film like you can see my house in the background. Like my, my dining room is like a little disorganized. If you guys can see the table is not like the most organized. My bookshelf is right here. Anyway, um, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below. Don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified of all my future videos when they do post. Remember, all Shelby Bells ring the bell. I love having all the space to move. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, if you enjoyed today's video, YouTube should be suggesting a couple more down here for you to choose from. So I'd love it if you did that. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I love like having all this room to move. Should we do this more often? I love this.